Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com with a video today that I did not plan to record because I stupidly and mistakenly, hey, it happens, deleted my Apple Watch pre-order madness clip or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I formatted my GoPro without thinking about it. And it said there was like a few clips on there. I was like, eh, it's probably nothing. But then I went to work in Final Cut Pro 10 today and I was like, hmm, okay then. I stupidly deleted my Apple Watch pre-ordering Madness clips. Eh, it's whatever. But I still wanted to come through for you guys and at least record this video and tell you about my process. And well, honestly, this is probably the better route to take because my Apple Watch pre-ordering experience was incredibly smooth. Actually, probably the smoothest pre-order experience on Apple.com in recent years, especially compared to the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. No, I don't own the 6 or 6 Plus, but I was pre-ordering for a friend and that was just a nightmare. But this experience for the Apple Watch, it was awesome. Now, unfortunately, I got in there maybe like a minute or two late, so my Apple Watch pre-order is not going to arrive until mid-May. At least that's what Apple's telling me, but I'm hoping through some kind of Apple-inspired miracle that my Apple Watch still does arrive on launch day, April 24th. Which is doubtful, but you know me, I'm positive thinking, I'm optimistic, and well, I'm just hoping for the best. But in the meantime, let's talk about my Apple Watch and the actual configuration that I went with. Well, up until the day before the pre-order night, April 10th, I was all set to go for, you know, uh, the silver 38 millimeter Apple Watch Sport Edition. And then I did more research. If you scroll all the way to the right of the Apple Watch collection, you know, all the Apple Watches that Apple currently offers, Space Gray is a selection. And for some reason, this kept skipping my mind and I didn't realize this until, again, like a night or two before the pre-order madness kicked in. So I was like, wait a minute. Space Gray looks less like a first-gen iPhone, which I think is a good thing. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the first-gen iPhone, but I'd rather the Apple Watch look like its own product and not just a first-gen iPhone. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't have to go with silver and maybe I'll go with Space Gray instead. So that's exactly what I went with. Space Gray Sport Edition with the black band and 42 millimeter. Now that was practically a last minute decision because I'm a dude with small wrists. I mean, my wrists aren't really that manly. Let's just put it that way. So I think I have pretty small wrists. But then I saw people talking saying like, well, even if you have a tiny wrist, 38 millimeter still looks really small. And I saw more people posting pictures of the 42 millimeter because people in Australia are ahead of us. So we got a special preview and I've been looking at more pictures on Macrimer's forums. So I decided 42 millimeter it is. So that's exactly the edition I went with. $400 Apple watch sport edition, 42 millimeter space gray with a black band. So there you have it. My Apple watch configuration. What do you think? Post your thoughts right below. Now, apparently a lot of people are going for the Sport Edition because, well, one, it's the cheapest, and two, the Space Gray Sport just looks really good with a variety of other bands. Now, somebody on Facebook told me that they heard from an Apple Store employee that the leather bands are not interchangeable with the Apple Watch Sport Edition. So I've been doing a bit of research and apparently the 38 millimeter Apple Watch Sport Edition is limited to certain bands. But according to my sources that I found online, the Apple Watch Sport Edition 42 millimeter is fully interchangeable with all of the bands. So with that said, I'm asking you, have you confirmed this as well? Have you talked to Apple Store employees? Have you been reading articles online that I perhaps missed? I need to know this because it's very important to me. But then again, it's not that vital if you think about it because there will be a huge amount of third party Apple Watch bands. Think iPhone cases and iPad cases all over again. The Apple Watch is an entirely new 
category of product. An entirely new market at that because smartwatches are still very new. Hence the reason why I made a video a couple years ago saying I basically don't care about the Apple Watch. Unless Apple can do something revolutionary and sell it at an awesome price and make it something brand new and reinvent the watch market, then maybe there's a small, like very, very, very tiny chance that it will actually take an interest. But as of right now, it's one of those rare Apple products that just does nothing for me. Now granted, my opinion has changed very much as it should, because if I stuck to my same opinion for my entire life, then that would not allow me to grow as a tech enthusiast and as a tech reviewer. I quote because I'm more of a tech vlogger, but that's beside the point. So I'm just saying now to cover my butt, because I'm sure there's gonna be a few people saying, David, you hated the Apple Watch. And while David, you just hated the uh, idea of putting something on your wrist. Well, yes, that's still true to this day, but I've gotten better because in my recent camping vlog, which of course, if you have not seen that yet, it is right below, enjoy. I was wearing a very, very cheap Android watch. It was basically kind of like an Apple Watch ripoff because it had like an iOS like theme to it. It was just not a very good product overall, but just for the fun of it and just to get my body trained to wearing watches, I wore that cheap Android watch for the majority of this previous weekend. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the idea of having something on my wrist besides this worn out Intel wristband. So I think I am mentally prepared to wear an Apple Watch every day. Now I'm still not crazy about charging it every day. I'm still not crazy about spending $400 on a device that I'm not sure I even need yet. But you know me, me being the Apple fanatic, I am obviously willing to give it a try. I have so much faith in Apple. They rarely let me down. So I think chances are very good that Apple will be the first manufacturer to actually release a smartwatch that everybody kind of wants. Because the Pebble, as of today, looks nice, but I don't think it's one of those products that people exactly talk about. Still though, with that said, I am very interested in getting my hands on a Pebble, but not right now, maybe someday. So for now, I am very excited about the Apple Watch and I'm very excited about how it could change my everyday life because I am extremely interested to see what kind of extension it could have on my Apple experience. I mean, I'm tired of pulling my iPhone out of my pocket for these mere cat notifications that don't matter or email alerts that I don't exactly need to read right away or DMs on Twitter that could wait a couple hours or so. Which means if I do this, that's pretty cool and it could save me a lot of time throughout my day and that's why I'm excited about the Apple Watch. But I'm still not 100% convinced I need one, so why not give it a try? All right guys, there you go. There is my Apple Watch pre-ordering madness video. I really, really do apologize if I let any of you down. Believe me, I let myself down big time. As soon as I realized, I was like, oh, David, you freaking moron. Because I rarely mistakenly delete my own video footage. This is probably only like the second or third time it's happened since joining YouTube eight or nine years ago. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often at all. But guys, there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment right below with your Apple Watch purchase. And let me know, when is yours arriving? And is there any chance that it will arrive ahead of time? Because I'm telling you, I ordered within minutes of the store going up. Oh, and by the way, I use the Apple Store app on my iPhone after waiting for two or three minutes of the Apple Store not coming up on my Mac. So I finally went to the app and it worked perfectly. So next time, I'm done with Apple.com. I'm using the Apple Store app. It worked flawlessly. I just wish I could have gotten in there maybe a minute or two earlier. But hey, lesson learned and that's what life is all about, learning from your mistakes. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Your support means a lot to me, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.